Ladies and gentlemen, there are hundreds if not thousands of tutorials on YouTube about how to play chess the right way. Well, in today's video, I am going to play chess in the absolute worst way possible. I am going to boot up several games and play the worst chess openings known with white and with black. And I will try to defeat people who are around my elo on chess.com, which is 27 and 2800. However, at your elo, which might be 800 or 1400 or 2000, people will probably not play as accurately and maybe you can use some of these openings to completely embarrass other individuals because as we know, chess is a pure game of intellect and correlates directly to your success in day-to-day -day life. Now, um, I also do want to announce something very, very, very big. If you're lucky enough to watch this video in the first few days that it's out, today we launched my Endgames Masterclass. It's a course with 50 studies, hundreds of exercises, 12 hours of video material for you to improve your Endgames. And there is a giant free sample. And to celebrate the launch of the course, everything is 50% off. If you're watching this like six months in the future, you should still click the link in the description. I have courses not just on the end game, middle game, openings, and there's much free stuff, a lot of free stuff for you to try. Um, so definitely do make sure to check that out if you're watching early or if you're watching late. My friends, it is time for the worst opening in chess. First of all, the worst opening in chess you can start with, according to Stockfish, is G4, the Grob. Notice how the evaluation already plummets off a cliff. The idea of the grab is to put the bishop on g2, and there are occasionally some little tricks. For example, you can win this pawn on b7, and even with that, you are not even better. But we are going to try to embarrass some 25, 2600s like this uh, by playing the grab. And maybe if we have a little bit more time, we will play f3, known as the barns. This is a this is a, called the Barnes opening because uh, only a barnyard animal would play it. You can now no longer develop your knight. You have massive dark squared weaknesses. We're going to try to do something with this. Um, now, the worst opening that you can play with black, which is even worse because you are starting with the black pieces, which means you go second and uh, you still have it. We have the, the Borg, which is grob backwards. And the idea, once again, is you lose a pawn, but you put your bishop here, and maybe, maybe in some universe you will have some tricks. I have absolutely no idea how this video is going to go today. Uh, I might lose all of my games, but at least it will be hilarious, and you will make fun of me. And if I do beat some people, you know, you can try this in your games, because, to, to be honest, who cares, all right? We're only here on Earth for a short time anyway, all right, compared to the rest of the universe. Let's have a good, let's have a good time, all right? Let's have a good time. Uh, let's uh, let's play chess and uh, you know let let's sacrifice a little bit of elo uh, for humanity. Here we go. Pawn to g4 uh, on the board against this uh, 2755 from uh, from uh, Argentina. Yes. All right. This move has been played. Now c4. Um, I uh, I am pressuring my opponent here on this side of the board. Queen to b3 puts a little bit of more pressure on the pawn on. Uh, on d5, is this just a f is this... What? I'm, I just got two pawns back. What? What? Okay, well, I guess I have to go... Oh, if I went there, there was rook c4. Oh my god, that's terrifying. All right, I'm going to play queen a6. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to develop my knight to defend my bishop. And I'm threatening to take this, and that's hanging. I actually don't hate my position at all. My position is completely reasonable. Yeah, e6 is a very reasonable move. I can take another pawn. I can also just keep developing. Let me hit the rook and develop my bishop. Yeah, the rook goes back. Um, maybe knight b5, knight d6 check. That doesn't look... I guess there is bishop b4. I do kind of have to uh, respect bishop b4. So let me just develop my bishop. I think bishop e7 is coming in. And now we're just going to act like we didn't just play the grab. You know what I mean? Um, maybe I'll slide back here to just pin the knight to the king. King is going to castle. Queen b6. Okay, that attacks that and that. I don't like that, so let's go here. Although, if this, I trap the queen, which would be a very nice... Uh, okay. Scary stuff here. Scary stuff. d4 on the board. If I take, take, that's under attack. I don't like that. You know what? You know, I, I, don't, I don't mind it. Let's go. We're playing garbage openings anyway. So take, take. You can take on F2 with check. I'm not afraid. What, what's the worst that can happen? What, a check? I'm so scaled. I'm so scaled. All right. If you don't take, I'm just going to cancel. Well, wasn't this your whole idea? Dude? What? I like I liked the username, though. Borussia Dortmund. It's a football club, right? Uh, that's hanging, by the way. But then that's hanging. And then that's hanging. Mm. Yeah, I've definitely had better positions in my life. Probably 
probably what happens when you play the Grub. Um, okay, the idea is to go here and to go here. Maybe King H1. I'll go King H1. Maybe I'll drop back here as well. All right, this was this was a decent outing, uh, which very quickly went wrong. But it went wrong because I'm bad. It, it, it did not go wrong because the opening... I mean, the opening itself is the worst opening in chess, so it's not, like, completely horrible. <laughs> it's bad, but it's not, like, totally horrible. Uh, knight to e4. Wow, this is a very unpleasant position. Okay, bishop to e3. I have a trick. I'm setting a little trick. If take, I think I'm going to go... What is this? Can I take with a knight? Can I take with the rook? Take? Bishop? No. Can I take with the bishop? Knight? Knight? I don't think any of this works. Yeah, just knight takes. I would like to take the bishop, but I don't think I can. So what? I'm not afraid. Bozo. Rook here. Hit the bishop. Didn't work. All right. There's queen c6 check, which trades queens, which will be very sad if my opponent finds. Because uh, not trading the queens is a really nice way to play this position. Please don't play queen c6. Thank you. Wow. You ask nicely. Look what happens. I don't really have a follow-up. <laughs> uh, oh, they want to play bishop here. Oh, that's so lame. All right, queen d6. Oh, they're gonna, I think they're going to play queen c6. I don't think I'm going to get a second chance. Hanging around. Just hanging around. Maybe something good will happen. Highly unlikely, but maybe. Highly unlikely, but potentially. Let's see. Dead air, dead air. I gotta fill the dead air. Queen to a6, that attacks my rook. Uh, can I sacrifice something? Yes? <gasps> my friends. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Could this be happening? Could the legendary Grob actually save the game? Because after pawn takes, bishop takes, king h8, I have rook f8. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think I'm making a comeback. I mean, I am still completely lost. Because my opponent, it's not checkers. They don't actually have to do anything. But oh my gosh, maybe. And if something like this, I can go here. But then take, and then take. Oh my gosh. My friends, this is crazy. Is the legendary Grob going to save the day? Rook f7. Rook, e1, rook d1 check, I guess. Um, now a3. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. But I guess there's this, which is very, very disturbing move. Um, my bishop's hanging. Can I defend it? I think so. If you check me, I'm going to bring my rook back. Oh, this is crazy. Rook is coming back. Okay. I'm not afraid. Is there this? <gasps> no. Still not afraid. I probably should be very afraid, though. Oh, my gosh. No. Okay. Okay. All right, let's analyze. Let's analyze. Uh, how bad really was it? Uh, really? Queen Knight F6. Oh, this was like all theory? Wow. My opponent knew everything. They just got a very good position. Rook back to c8. No, no, no. It was, it was okay. It wasn't so bad. I, I mean, I could have just played like normal moves. I didn't have to. I could have played knight a4 here. And there you go. All right. Next game. Next game. I'm, I am determined to beat somebody. Somebody will be embarrassed for my content. Oh my goodness. This guy's very good. Uh, all right, we'll play f3 against him. Um, now, I'd like to play knight h3, but then he's going to do this. So may may maybe we play f3, e3, and then something like this. Don't mind that at all. Don't mind that at all. This is, this is actually a gentleman from Indonesia. He, uh, he makes chess content. All right, we've got a nice little stable thing happening here. Let's go knight e2, defend the center. I think he wants to do this, so we're going to keep it very nice and tense. There's a thunderstorm outside. I don't know why you had to know that, but now you do. Uh, I'm going here. Maybe g4, maybe bishop g2 type of stuff. Uh, that's weak, so he might play queen e7. Uh, that is certainly a move. Queen h4 check, but I, I just have king g2. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not super scared. Am I super scared? Should I be super scared? 
I'm not super scared. Should I be super scared? Getting the knight into my position. If he goes here, I have this, which... I'm pinning the knight to the queen. Could, could be all right. I, I don't... I don't exactly see it. I don't... I don't know. Now I'm attacking the rook. He could take, and then I take, and then he's still pinned. And then I have knight to f1, which is very humorous. All right, maybe we made this work. Maybe he, he got a little bit overzealous here, and now I can use him for content. I mean, that would be very nice. But I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm talking the whole time, so... Okay, yes, I have one in exchange. Now, I'm expecting... Uh, that is a move, yes. If I take, I guess he has... He's gonna take my rook, so maybe I play... Bishop d3? Uh, yeah, that's the problem. He's still pinned. Like, this is still very nice for me, because he can't move this, and I'm gonna move my rook, and... I mean, it, I, I should be more or less okay. I have a 20-second time advantage, too. Uh, yeah, and uh, now I can threaten checkmate. Well, it's not quite mate, but it's very close. Okay, bishop e6 is what I was expecting. Uh, I would like to play knight b3. How do we feel about knight b3? I think it's a decent move. Trading pieces. And his knight is just stuck. I mean, his knight is just stuck in my position. Like, if, if I can trade... Oh, rook a7, by the way. g5? Wait, is his queen trapped? He has to move this way. Oh my gosh. Yes. I guess his knight can kind of get out now, is like the drawback of what I just did, but I have rook takes a7. And... I mean, I'm just, I'm winning. We're just winning. <laughs> this is amazing. Play the worst opening on the chessboard and get a winning position. Bishop takes f5 and maybe queen takes b7. I'm just going to take all his pieces. He wants to take on h3, which uh, definitely makes a lot of sense. I can play f4. Uh, I don't want to get checkmated. It would be very tragic to get checkmated here. It's a good move. It's a good move. Maybe bring the queen back. Yeah, I'm going to bring the queen back. I'm going to give him bishop takes h3 because I don't think I have a way to defend it. And maybe I just go back to g1. Very, it's not very comfortable, but this is like very unpleasant for black. Uh, and uh, I have some very goofy tactics here, potentially. Maybe queen d4. Something like queen d4. Threatening this. I think he'll go c6. It's a very natural move. He might also go bishop c6. But then I, maybe I have... He wants to win my queen, which is just not very nice. Uh, queen takes d5. Comfortable. Bishop here, I can probably just... Well, that's illegal, but I can go here. It's a very tense position. I'm very scared. Which is, you know, probably fitting, considering I played a terrible opening. Um, yeah, so this is a move. Queen c6. Ugh, this is ugly, but it's somehow working, and he still can't escape off the back rank. Yes, I was expecting this move. Uh, maybe bishop e3 and something like this. I just have to be very careful because he really wants to go here with his queen. That is the number one thing I'm trying to prevent. Bishop, really? He can be that greedy? Oh, I guess it's because he's doing that, that thing that we talked about. Bishop takes b6. This looks good. And if he goes here, maybe I have queen e8. Maybe I don't have queen e8. Rook e8. Check. That's insane. Is it so bad? Am I checkmated? Wait a minute. Who is check? Queen h1, king f2, queen h2, king e3. Or king e1? Wait a minute. Is it even game over? Wait a minute. I, I am not convinced. I think I'm going to escape along the bottom here. Check here, check. Where's the mate? Where's the mate? Where's the mate? Where's the mate? Rook H8 is mate. Ooh, that's a good move. Is it a draw? Is it a draw? Is it a draw, or what's happening? Check. Oh, I'm escaping, my friends. I'm escaping. 
check. Rook H8 is mate. Oh, we beat him with the worst opening in chess. Ooh, F3, 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 F3. Now let's see. Maybe we can. No, no, no. I got it. Listen, that was a G that was a good game. I won with F3. Now we have to analyze. I never only play one game at my level. It's extremely disrespectful to play one game. So we beat him with the worst opening possible in chess, which is to play. It's the second worst, you, you can argue. I mean, F3, according to computer, is like minus 0.5, and this is like minus 1. But they're both very bad. They both seriously jeopardize white's king safety. I do want to play a game uh, with a black. That, that would be very nice. Um, may, may, maybe I can get a game with black. I don't want three games with white. Um, actually, wait a minute. Wait, wait, hold on. I, I know this was a grandmaster. I, I, don't, I don't mean to run away. I'm totally running away. Um, I never even analyzed this game. Sorry. A little bit of, uh, little bit of uh, ADHD. Um, so this is the position. Um, opponent here has like an absolutely perfect setup, uh, which, you know, what I, what I was trying to do here was I was, I was trying to protect my king, right? Like if you're going to play a really, really bad opening, you're sabotaging natural development for king safety. Um, like I have this, right? And, and, and I'm, I'm sacrificing my, my, my king safety here. So I played h3 with the idea to go g4. I didn't play g4 right away because, like something like this, because the move e4 comes in. And now I have a very, very bad situation. I would love to go f4, but my pawn is not guarded. So if my pawn was guarded, I could maybe build up some sort of defense, which is why I played the move h3 first, uh, so that I could play g4, and then when e4 happens, I could do this. So this move and all of this actually kind of, like, of course I'm losing, um, but after this, my opponent somehow, yeah, I mean, it, he, he's not even better now. I mean, now he has to sacrifice this, and then he had to leave my position, and, and by this point, I mean, I, I thought I did a pretty decent job. And position is definitely equal. I mean, he is still doing, I, I would say, quite comfortably, but uh, by this point, you're already very, very frustrated with black because your opponent played something really, really stupid, so, uh, you, you know, you should just uh, be relatively easily winning. Uh, but uh, that did not happen. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's, play, let's play one last three-minute game. You still here? You still watching? Um, here we go. I would love to get a game with black. I would really uh, not like to play three games with white in one video. I'm uh, waiting for a game with black. By the way, seriously, check out Endgame's Masterclass. It's, uh, whew. Okay, I have another. Oh, no, no, I'm playing with black. I'm playing uh, 2400. Joined 29 days ago. Hopefully not cheating. So with black, B5 is a really, really, really bad opening. Uh, F5, uh, Dura's Gambit, is also very bad, right? So just giving up a pawn uh, near the king like this, and, um, and now you have to also prevent queen h5. So opponent does this. Uh, I'm going to play d5 and c5, right? So uh, because I, I would like to get this pawn back, but I, I can't do that. Uh, this is normal. Now I'm going to apply more pressure here. I would actually not really mind if my pawn got, got, got taken. Uh, and now what you can do with black is you can do something very interesting. Um, you can play c4, and then you can play uh, like e6 to try to get rid of this pawn. So a lot of people here will capture. And personally, what I like to do here is I just like to play bishop d6 and castle. And the point is that you will actually use this to your advantage. Your, your opponent might try to fight back over here, which is very reasonable. Um, but yeah, if they do something like this, you're castling and you're getting an open f file. And you see my opponent is, is not castling because he's actually kind of concerned. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make uh, several more moves on this side of the board, and all of a sudden, the position is going to be very scary for white. Um, already, you see my opponent is, like, hesitating. I have maybe queen e8, discovered attack ideas. I have bishop g4. So now I'm threatening check. Uh, now my opponent can't castle. Okay, so now my opponent cannot castle, um, which is already a massive, I would say, victory for me. Uh, now I'm going to play like rook f8, rook e8. I'm going to put my rooks over here. This is, this is a massive, massive moral victory for me. Um, they're going to try to break out over here, but I, I always have b5 and a6. And actually, like this gambit is completely terrible for black, but it's, it's not so simple to play with white. Um, I mean, of course, it's completely lost, but that's like... It doesn't matter if something is completely lost according to Stockfish, because your opponents are not Stockfish. I don't actually understand what that move does, and in fact, don't I already have like a monster infiltration here? This is very scary for my opponent. Uh, what, can I win bishop f3, knight f3? I don't have any like back rank stuff. My bishop is hanging. So let's just play a move that defends the bishop. Unless I'm gonna get my queen trapped somehow, which would be tragic. Queen e1 blunders. That, 
How does how is there no background checkmate here? Crazy stuff. Maybe I have like 94. Take. I can take. 94 looks really nice. Maybe bishop f5 and then. Okay, I'm going to play 94. This is crazy. I mean, I, I, I should have some sort of just execution here of the white position. I was thinking bishop g3, but then I, I guess I can play like bishop takes. But that would be scary because I would be opening up the rook. So maybe bishop takes, knight takes. And then if knight takes, I have queen takes g4. But th this looks miserable for white. I mean, it looks like white just castled and doesn't even have a rook. Uh, like, looks like white castled, but the rook fell asleep. I have to catch up on time too. I've been talking a lot. And the last game, I actually used time to my advantage quite a bit. Yeah, so now I'm gonna. There's no back rank knight. Let's take on g4. And still, my opponent's pieces are. Look, all of them are completely restricted. Uh, I just. I need like a way in. Maybe rook e2. Rook e2, bishop g3. Yeah, let's go here. I expect queen d1. But queen d1, I take on b2. I'm getting my pawn back if you do it that way. So you, yeah, now you, you have to like you have to acknowledge me a little bit. Maybe we double. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. We don't have like a winning, a winning thing here, and it, it is getting a little dicey. A little bit. Take take. The queen can activate. Not super thrilled about this. I I will have to move my my pieces here at some point. Yeah, now. Okay, but I have... Oh, no. G7 doesn't work. Okay, let me take on G3. Uh, I do have to speed up. Unfortunately, I have no alternative. All right, let's guard the knight. Not happy about what's happened, but it's life. Knight G5, maybe just queen G6. Queen F6 also. Counterattack. Maybe that's how I'll win. My opponent will get overzealous. Maybe. I mean, I have, like, such a dominant position, and yet somehow I'm... That's a good move. Wow, that's a nice move. I have to, I can't even take because of knight g5. But I'm threatening rook f3. Good move. Good move. I have a trick. Uh, I can play maybe no tricks. Maybe no tricks. Fortunately, we played a bad opening, so we don't have any time for tricks. Maybe we just have to. This knight is a hero. Absolute hero this night. There's no way past it. It's like a brick wall. Okay, we're down to 30 seconds each, which is very reassuring. Very, very reassuring. Uh, I have to take. Oh no, a fork. Okay, let's. We're looking. We're looking to infiltrate somehow. Okay, I'm gonna repin. ideas coming in no i want to go here oh i hung that that was bad draw so lame actually gonna make a draw when you're totally winning that's lame dude come on uh queen here 11 seconds 11 seconds 11 seconds what are we doing what are we doing where are we going 11 seconds where are we i hung that night now maybe i can trade the queens two seconds he's very scared why is my opponent just shuffling back and forth? Okay. Well, that was one of the worst games I have ever played in my life, and I'm happy to cross 2800. Um, seriously, though, uh, F5, uh, one of the worst uh, openings that exists, and I actually did it justice. I would say that from the opening, I did not even have an unreasonable position. I mean, I was hardly even worse. So when you play f5, you uh, weaken your king and you lose a pawn and you obviously open up yourself to some very unpleasant things over here, but uh, this is actually a semi-decent attempt at refuting the way white can play here. And I did it this way, and my friends, already here, I am not even worse. And I mean, maybe I should not have played queen e7, I probably should have played like a little bit like over here, but... Uh, I would not argue, yeah, I mean, here, we, we, had a, we had all the winning chances in the world, but then uh, disaster struck, and I allowed a little bit too much. Rook takes h7 was a nice move, and uh, that was a nice game. So, 
Some of the worst openings in chess. F5 against E4, you can play the Borg, which is G5. And when you play the Borg, you're always looking for stuff like this. Uh, there's all sorts of little traps like take, take, queen A5, and the bishop on the edge of the board can get taken. You will remember that in the very first game I played in this video, if your opponent is not careful, for example, uh, knight C3, E6, take, take, king and bishop, queen A4 check. You have all these little tricks. Like, my opponent played, you know, seven or eight moves of Stockfish Theory because people at 2700 are nerds. But this is a very, very uh, fun little video for you. And as it turns out, uh, in one of the games, I got a completely reasonable position. In the other game, I was winning from the opening. And in this game, I got demolished because sometimes that's what happens when you play the worst mathematical opening in chess. Um, your opponent outplays you. But overall, I would say beating a 2850 with the Barnes, not bad at all. Uh, my friends... That concludes today's video, and um, you, can all, you can always be a little deviant in chess. You don't have to play the best openings. Do check out the Endgame Masterclass or the Middle Game Masterclass or any of the courses. Free samples abound. Link is in the description. Get out of here.